Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Good day to all. I am Mageshwari from Department of Mathematics, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, I wish you all to learn how to find inverse Laplace transform by convolution theorem. First, we have to uh, define inverse Laplace transform. What is inverse Laplace transform? If the Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, then that is L of f of t equal to f of s, then f of t is called an inverse Laplace transform of f of s, which is denoted by f of t equals L inverse of f of s. Here L inverse is called the inverse Laplace transform operator. Actually, Laplace transform is f of t is transformed into f of s. In inverse Laplace transform, f of s is transformed into f of t. Next, we are going to define convolution of two functions. Okay, f of t and g of t are two function. Then convolution of two functions is defined as integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u into du, which is denoted by f of t star g of t. Uh, here in f of t we are replacing as u, in g of t we are replaced as t minus u. Next, we are going to define convolution theorem. If f of t and g of t are two functions, then Laplace transform of convolution of two functions is equal to product of their Laplace transforms. This is called convolution theorem. That is L of f of t star g of t is equal to f of s into g of s where f of s is equal to L of f of t and g of s equal to L of g of t. This is convolution theorem for the two given functions. Next, using this convolution theorem, we are going to define inverse Laplace transform. Here, L inverse of f of s into g of s is nothing but f of t star g of t. Here f of t is nothing but L inverse of f of s and g of t is nothing but L inverse of g of s. So, convolution theorem for inverse Laplace transform is L inverse of f of s into g of s is equal to f of t star g of t. That is L inverse of f of s star L inverse of g of s. Next, we are going to use inverse Laplace transform by using convolution theorem. How to find inverse Laplace transform by using convolution theorem? Example 1, use convolution theorem to find L inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 1. Here, when you are going to use convolution theorem, okay, in finding inverse Laplace transform, in denominator, we have two factors, then we can use uh, convolution theorem. Here, uh, we know that, so what is convolution theorem? L inverse of f of s into g of s is equal to L inverse of f of s star L inverse of g of s. Here, L inverse of 1 divided by s into s square plus 1. How we are going to split f of s into g of s? Actually, uh, f of t star g of t is commutative. Uh, so, we can use f of t star g of t or g of t star f of t. So, here L inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 1, either I can take f of s is 1 by s or g of s is 1 by s, anything I can take. So, now I am going to split L inverse of f of s into g of s is nothing but L inverse of f of s star L inverse of g of s. Here I am taking f of s is 1 by s, g of s is 1 by s square plus 1. So, L inverse of f of s is here 1 by s and L inverse of g of s is 1 by s square plus 1. So, L inverse of f of s is what? f of t. L inverse of g of s is g of t. Here 1 by s, when you get 1 by s in Laplace transform, L of 1 is 1 by s. Okay. So, L inverse of 1 by s is 1. And then when you get 1 by s square plus 1, actually denominator s square plus a square, when will you get for either sin 80 or cos 80? In sin 80, numerator should be constant, cos 80 numerator should be yes. Here numerator is constant, it should be sin 80. Here a value is 1. So, I am getting L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is sin t. So, f of t star g of t, f of t is 1, g of t is sin t. Okay. So, next we are going to apply convolution definition. 
okay what is convolution definition integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u into du so f of t star g of t how we can define ma so integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u into du so in f of t i am replacing t as u in g of t i am replacing t as t minus u so integral 0 to t f of u actually in f of t i am replacing u here it is constant i am substituting 1 then in g of t i am replacing t as t minus u so sin of t minus u into du so 1 into sin of t minus u into du okay now next we have to integrate this uh, we should uh, recall the formula integral sin ax plus b into dx what is the formula sin of ax plus b integration is minus cos of ax plus b divided by a a is nothing but coefficient of x okay here you can integrate sin so sin integration is minus cos of t minus u divided by we are integrating with respect to u so u coefficient is minus 1 so i am putting in the denominator is minus 1 okay so the limit is 0 to t now we have to substitute the upper limit and lower limit okay upper limit is t lower limit is 0 okay so u replaced as t u replaced as 0 so substitute the upper limit u when you are substituting u is 0 what i can get minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 minus minus plus okay so i get cos 0 then i can apply lower limit minus lower limit here minus minus plus again lower limit 1 minus i am substituting u as 0 so what i can get u is 0 means i will get cos t so cos 0 minus cos t so i am getting 1 cos 0 value is 1 and then minus cos t so l inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 1 we get the answer is 1 minus cos t the same problem we can solve by method of partial fraction also okay but here they are mentioning use convolution theorem so we have to use convolution theorem so we will go for the next problem next example find l inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square by using convolution theorem okay here you can tell me how to split how to use convolution theorem the denominator is repeated factor s square plus a square whole square so i have to find f of s and then how to find g of s so one way i can take is s by s square plus a square i can take f of s and then 1 by s square plus a square i am take it as g of s another way also i can take 1 by s square plus a square i can take it as f of s g of s i can take it as s by s square plus a square but for this particular problem what i am going to do is i am going to take f of s is s by s square plus a square g of s is 1 by s square plus a square so l inverse of f of s into g of s what is by convolution theorem l inverse of f of s star l inverse of g of s okay so l inverse of f of s here actually uh, wrongly written one l inverse of s by s square plus a square star l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square only correct that s by s square plus a square is wrong okay so l inverse of s by s square plus a square star l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square so i can get that l inverse of s by s square plus a square what is the formula when you get s by s square plus a square for laplace transform of cos a t is s by s square plus a square so i can get l inverse of s by s square plus a square is cos a t then l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square i have to take okay what is 1 by s square plus a square numerator should be come a then only i can write sin a t but numerator a is missing so multiply and divide by a so l inverse of a by s square plus a square is sin a t so 1 by a into sin a t for l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square so i got that f of t star g of t f of t is cos a t g of t is 1 by a into sin a t now i am going to use convolution uh, formula convolution of two functions so what is convolution of two functions integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du okay so 1 by 8 a constant i am taking outside so integral 0 to t in f of t i am replacing t as u so f of t is what cos a t so t replaced as u so cos a u 
in g of t i have to replace as what t is t minus u so in sin a t i am replacing t as t minus u so sin of a into t minus u into du okay so now i have to integrate this how to integrate either i can use cos a sin b or sin a cos b so i will start with sin a cos b okay so sin a cos b what is the formula 2 sin a cos b what is the formula actually here sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b divided by 2 suppose as it is you are taking cos a sin b means what is the formula actually sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b divided by 2 but here i am considering sin a cos b okay so how to use sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b divided by 2 so a is what actually a of t minus u and then add with b is a u okay what i can get a of t minus u plus u so plus u and minus u will get cancel so i get that sin at okay then plus sin of a minus b so a is at minus au okay minus au okay so what i can get a of t minus u minus u so i get that sin of a into t minus 2u i should get next step 1 by the denominator 2 i am taking outside actually sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b divided by 2 the 2 i am taking outside actually 1 by 2a so 0 to t sin at plus sin of a into t minus should be 2u but it is du it is not correct it is 2u into du okay so i have to integrate this with respect to u so how i can integrate sin t into du sin t into du at is constant sin t is constant okay so integration of du is what u okay so u into sin at so again sin integration now only we recall the formula sin of ax plus b minus cos ax plus b divided by a the same formula i am applying over here so minus cos a into t minus 2u already i mentioned that it is not du it is 2u so 2u divided by coefficient of u is what 2 okay minus 2 and then into a so i am getting the denominator is minus 2a so now i have to apply the upper limit and lower limit okay so what is upper limit t lower limit is 0 so u should be replaced as t and u should be replaced as 0 so first i am replacing the upper limit u is t okay so u is t means t into sin at and then i am applying u is t means t minus 2t so what i can get cos of minus t cos of minus theta is what cos theta so i can get the answer is minus minus plus cos of minus theta is theta cos theta so i will get cos t so cos at by 2a okay and then i have to apply lower limit what is lower limit zero so upper limit minus lower limit so u is zero mean zero in anything is zero so next minus minus plus lower limit one minus so i get that minus and then u substitute as zero so what i can get cos at cos at by 2a okay here cos at by 2a and cos at by 2a both get cancelled so i get the answer is t by 2a into sin at so l inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square is nothing but t by 2a into sin at so thank you for watching all of you this video lecture